Well, Lisa, Jennifer Benson wasn't driving in the race. She was in the crowd. She went just to watch April 22nd, 2017, a Saturday afternoon that changed her life forever. Jennifer Benson doesn't remember much from the day of the accident, only what others have told her. They said where I was standing was totally safe, like you stand up several feet. But it wasn't safe. An out of control racer came crashing into the crowd, killing two people, including Jennifer's good friend, Aaron Duncan. The crash sent Jennifer flying, landing on her head. She was in a coma for weeks, fighting for her life, in the hospital for nearly three months. Hard, a struggle, definitely hardest thing I've ever done. Jennifer had to relearn how to walk and talk, and she continues to battle the effects of her injuries. When I walk, I still walk by me. I like limp, and my like right hand won't. Like, it was like this, and then I got to open, and then we can get close again. Last year, Jennifer missed the birthdays of her two young kids when she was in the hospital. Not this year. This next birthday, you better believe, I'm going to make it a good one. <laughs> Today, Jennifer is thankful to be alive, finding perspective in her pain. If it wasn't for, like, like God, somehow, this is a part of his plan. I... No, life is hard for me now, but there's a reason. Since her accident, Jennifer says she has never heard from anyone from the Stony Lonesome Park in Coleman County or from the people who put on the race.